Hello and welcome to the Bowler CBT Lab Security Series. This is the CCNP security track, beginning with the first exam guide to hit the market, the exam 642637 Secure. Deals with a lot of the uh, basic and a lot of advanced security topics that cover routing and switching. Some of it will be a review from the CCNA security track. I trust that if you are uh, pursuing the CCNP security that you have already tested for and studied extensively for the CCNA security. So a lot of this will be review, even though it is covered um, under this exam. We'll be kind of kind of going through these topics uh, more at the lab level, as is the theme with a lot of the the labs that we do here, Bowler CBT Labs, we like to be at the command line and doing a lot of the practical applications and spending a little less time on the theory even though we do hit on it and show it in uh, the practical environment. So the basic architecture and topology that we have here is uh, two switches. They'll be performing spanning tree. We have two links between each switch as you can see here in the GNS3 topology. They are both physical 2950 series Cisco switches, so I'm using this topology purely as a reference. Uh, the switches are running here in my home. And we will be discussing root guard, BBDU guard, that's, uh, which is also used along with Portfast in many ways and uh, we'll show a couple examples of how to implement these solutions and what happens when they perform their job as it should be performed and uh, basically protect the spanning tree architecture. Right now I am connected to switch A and through switch A I am also connected to switch B. So uh, once we go ahead and set this up we'll be able to see the immediate result of triggering the root guard feature as well as the BPDU guard feature. We'll start off just do a show run on the interface of the Fast Ethernet 01 and 9 so we can see what we're working with. This is kind of a continuation of the previous lab that we did dealing with uh, port.